In this video, we're going to learn how to create a slanted wall with Revit. Revit's awesome. It's a great program, but it has some difficulty with creating curved and organic shapes and slanted shapes. So in this video, you'll learn how to create that slanted wall. This is a preview of what you're going to be creating today. It's got a slant to it and three perpendicular walls to the ground. I'm going to go over to level one. And for the sake of simplicity and measurements, I'm just going to create a generic wall that's going to be 10 feet up, 20 feet over, and then 10 feet down, just like so. That's going to be our shell. I'm going to take this and I'm going to hide this from our view so that way it's not in the way. And then over in 3D, you'll see that I have basically our three walls that we've made and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this in 3D and hide it as well. Now we need to create a wall that's slanted. I'm going to make one that's just five feet out from the top. If you need a particular angle, you'll see that we can adjust that as well. So from here, what I'm going to do is go to the massing and site tab and I'm going to create an in place mass. I'm going to click on that. We can name it slanted wall not as important. I'm going to click on the line tool up where it says draw. I'm drawing from level one. I need to set my work plane. Very important. So I'm going to set my work plane and I'm going to snap it to this wall here, this outside face of that exterior wall. I'm now drawing a line on this plane. I can draw it from the corner snap. I'm going to kind of hover to reference the top of my wall and I'm just going to come out. I'm going to come out roughly where I want to be. I'm going to hit escape. Hit escape again, click on the line that we want. And here I conveniently have a measurement from the corner I clicked on over to where I clicked last. So I'm going to just type in five feet and hit enter. Notice that my bottom has shifted. That's no problem. I'm going to grab the grip edit there and swing it back to the end point of the wall here. Notice that the five feet stays. I'm going to hit escape. Now I have to reset a work plane over on the other side. I want two lines. I'm going to draw two lines. I'm going to connect them to make a plane. So I'm going to click on set work plane up here. I'm going to hover until I pick this outside face of this wall. I'm going to click on line. I'm going to snap on the bottom and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to move my mouse and you'll notice how it hovers and it says parallel to the other one. I'm going to click on that. I know that one's good. If I want to check it, I can click on the line. I don't see my actual dimension here. But what I'm going to do is just click on a line for reference. I'm going to click on the top end point of this wall and I'm going to go over to this line here. Oh, let's reference a different work plane. Let's set our work plane right here. Line tool, snap on that snap over five feet. We can see that we're good. I'm going to click double click. So I just have that line. I can hit delete and get that out. So now I've verified that both lines are in line with each other. I'm going to click on the one hold down control that allows me to select more than one thing at a time. Now I can see that they're both blue. I'm going to click on create form. When I click on create form right now, it thinks I might want to be creating a cylinder. I will have the option down on the bottom to create a line. And right now, my screen recorder is covering up the actual button. And now that I've cycled through the options I want, which are at the bottom, I've picked my plane going between the two lines. Very important I do that. And then I say finish mass. Now that I have this mass, it just basically tells me that I can't use this one to compute mass floors, volume, or surface area. That's fine. It's on a slant. I'm going to go back over to massing and sight. What I'm going to do now is swing over and I'm going to create a wall by face. When I click on this wall by face, I want to pay attention to my type selector up here and I want to select the type of wall that I want. We can always edit this. Now we cannot create a curtain wall on a slant. So what we would have to do is actually just create a wall that's 
the material is glass, which I'll show how to do that in a later video. And then we can create some columns um, that look like mullions that are on a slant, and we can create a mock curtain wall that way that's on a slant. Otherwise, to just create a slanted wall, I'm going to do a generic 8-inch wall. I'm going to click on the face that I want to become that wall. And then now I can see that I have a slanted wall okay, with my um, straight walls here. Now, what I'm going to do to tie it all together is I'm going to click on this wall. I'm going to go to Edit Profile, and I'm going to use the Pick Lines tool to edit the profile of this wall. I'm going to click on this line, which will then associate that line edge with my wall. I'm going to hit Escape a couple times, click on the line that I don't want, and I'm going to click on the Corner tool to match this line with that line and then this one with this one. So then now I have the exact profile that I need and I'll hit check to finish that off. I'm gonna slide over to the other side. Right now my graphics card is making the slanted wall look a little funny, but that's actually just fine. It'll show good on yours, I'm sure. I'm gonna click on the wall here. I'm gonna go to edit profile just like before. I'm gonna use the pick lines tool and I'm going to choose the inner edge of this slant. I'm going to then use the corner tool to take this line to that line, and then this one to that one. Notice now I have to take that one vertical line and delete that out. Hit check to finish, and then now we have our slanted wall in Revit. Remember that wall we can change to any type of material. And when we are done, we can save and subscribe. Thank you.